Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So as I said in yesterday's vlog, I'm going to do a day in the life, I can't even speak, I'm going to do a day in the life today. Um, it's about quarter past nine and it's just been one of those mornings this morning, one of those mornings. We all have them, end of term, they become a little bit more frequent, but this morning has definitely been one of those mornings. I honestly don't know how so much can happen in one house before nine o'clock in the morning, just trying to get people out to school. It's just, Erin, unfortunately, the more overstimulated and overwhelmed she gets, the worse her behavior becomes. Um, she she struggles with these things anyway. She's had problems with her ears. Um, so, you know, sounds and things like that can, can kind of stress her out. But she, her behavior has just been getting progressively more and more difficult. So she's, she does a lot of screaming, she screams, you know, sometimes her she still has tantrums like sort of a, a three, four year old would. Not as frequent as she used to, but she does still have them. And she can't control her kind of emotions very well. And, you know, we try and um, just deal with it as it is. And we try and you know, stay calm and all that sort of stuff. But when there's lots of other things going on in the house, like this morning, the baby decided that she was going to scream and cry as well because she wasn't getting enough attention. There was nothing else wrong with her. Um, She'd been fed and everything else, but she wanted a bit of the attention as well. So she was screaming. Agnes must have been saying, Mummy, 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 Mummy. So all of this is going on at the same time. And I'm like that. I can feel, I can feel myself. I can feel myself just getting more and more stressed. And I'm trying to get them out to school and um, do hair and sort the washing out and everything else. So yeah, it was just like, and then, then I got a phone call about half past eight from... Um, the ENT team at Raidmore, uh to say they had an appointment for next week. Um, could we could we do it? So I said, yeah, I think we can. Although the date rang a bell. I was like, I'm sure I can't do that date, but I'm going to take it anyway because, you know, they don't come around very often. We've been waiting for ages. Um, so, yeah, so I phoned Ben and Ben was like, we can't do that date. I've got... Um, I've got uh, an interview on the Friday morning and, you know, it's I can't can't miss it. And I'm like, and, and it's an overnight appointment. So I was like, I knew, I knew there was a reason I couldn't do that date. So then I was like, oh God, now I'm going to have to phone back. And I feel really bad because it looks like I don't want the appointment, but I do need the appointment. And, you know, but because they kind of give you a week's notice, it doesn't always, you know, if if you got like four months notice, you'd know that that was coming up. But because they're just fitting people in when they can, and you only get a week's notice, it's kind of like, if you've already got things planned, then, you know, so something has to take priority. So anyway, um... I phoned the lady back, lady back on the way to school. Um, by this time, I'm literally rushing out the door to get out the road. Luckily, we only live five minutes from the school. And I said to her, I'm really, really sorry. I said, I don't want, I don't want people to think I don't want the appointment because I do, but I can't make this one because, you know, we don't have any other family and um, up here with us. And, you know, Ben's, Ben's, I can't, I can't be there on the, on the, in the morning because he's, he's away. Um, and I'm like, I, I just can't do that appointment. And she was like, it's fine, don't worry. Don't I said, I'm really, really sorry. She was like, it's fine, don't worry. We'll just fit you in the next one we've got. And I was like, I know, but I don't want to miss it. And she was like, it's okay, don't worry. So I must have sounded totally neurotic. And then I phoned Ben back. This is all on the way to school. I phoned Ben back. And I'm like, I don't even know if I've put clothes on this morning. Honestly, it's been one of those mornings. I don't even know if I've put clothes and shoes on. So I'm not even going to look at myself because if I have got my pyjamas on, people are going to look at me funny. I am dressed. Let's see. See, I am dressed, but it's just one of those mornings when you think, I, I, I don't know how much more can happen this morning. Anyway, I'm talking very fast. I'm aware of that. We're back. We're back home. I'm going to eat some breakfast. I'm going to get the baby sorted. I'm going to tidy up a bit. And then we're going to go to the supermarket because I can't go this evening, um, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. So we're going to go to the supermarket and get some shopping. It's really, really sunny today. It's a lovely day. So we're hopefully going to get to the park later this afternoon as well. But for now, I'm just going to de-stress a little bit and eat my breakfast. Okay, it's 10 o'clock and we're just about ready to go. So we've got to go to Tesco's and possibly Asda. I don't know. We fed the baby and we've tied it up. Mommy, can we buy some toys? No, we can't buy toys today. Everyone's been to the toilet, we've changed nappies. We fed the baby, did I say that? I said that already. We're ready to go. Agnes wants to know why we can't take the cat 
with us to the supermarket. So we've had a whole discussion on why we can't take the cat to the supermarket. Um, because we're not allowed to take the cat to the supermarket. And I don't think he really wants to go anyway because he's quite happy chilling in the garden. And mommy, yes. we can't bring him anywhere, just in the house. Yeah, he doesn't really like going out very far. He likes just being in the house and the garden and, and around and about his patch. He doesn't really like going any further than that. But dogs like being going far. Dogs do like going far. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, we're off to the supermarket. Can I have oh, Just what? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mummy, look at the dolls. Yeah, you've got quite a lot of dolls at home already, babes. Where? Look, Mummy, I want to buy one. You've got some at home. I already have one, but I want this one. Like I know, but we don't have any money with us today, darling. So maybe we'll have to come back another day. I'm sure we had Ariel. I think somebody broke their legs off. Daddy. Agnes, what's that? What is it? What's that next to it? What's that? Good girl. What about this one? What's that? A melon. Melon. Good girl. Mommy, look, look at these four melons. Well, that's a little, that's a, a cantaloupe melon. And mommy, look at these. <laughs> look at these, that are melon. 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 That's right. That's fallen. Mommy, look at the melon. Do you want to go and pay? Should we go and pay now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Mommy, look at these. Look at these four melons. No, it's never 17 degrees. It must be hotter than that. <laughs> It feels really hot. I bet the car will probably say it's about 20 degrees. Um, it's quite warm. It's lovely. So we are done in Tesco's. We're gonna. Where are we going now? Asda. 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 We go to Asda to buy some sweets and some other little bits and pieces, and apparently go down the toy aisle again. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Asda. We've got to drag down the toy aisle again. What do you think, Flo? Flo's woken up now. Spider She's not all that impressed. Spider? Yeah. Cool. Let's have a look. Mommy. Whoa. Mommy. That's cool. Mommy, look. Look, Mommy. Oh, that's funny. Ooh. 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 So cool. Okay, we're back. We, I didn't video outside Asda because Florence decided she didn't like Asda and was gonna scream the place down and um, and then scream in the car. She's fine once she get going, but she does do a pretty good impression of uh, a really, really, really angry person. So she was um, screaming quite a lot, but she's fine once the car gets going. And uh, the problem with, Florence is, if she thinks she's a tiny little bit hungry, she will scream the place down. Um, but anyway, we've come back. She's had a, an ounce of her bottle because she realises that she wasn't actually that hungry. Maybe she was just being a bit overdramatic. But um, anyway, we'll try her again in a minute. So we're back. Um, just tidy up the kitchen, do the washing up, um, feed them some lunch. Then I need to take Elizabeth over to Hopeman because um, she has her prom tonight and she's going to her friends to get ready. So I'm going to take her over to Hopeman uh, and then we're going to come back and we're going to go to the park and then it'll be school pickup. And then we've got dancing this evening. So yeah, there's not much time to do anything else today. Um, so we're quarter past 12. I'm just going to go and do them some lunch. Okay, so we had a bit of a change of plan. Um, I didn't end up taking Elizabeth over to her friends because her friend's mum came and picked her up instead. Um, she'd forgotten that she'd already arranged for that to happen, but that doesn't matter anyway. Um, so we didn't, they didn't get another trip out in the car, but they don't mind. So Elizabeth's gone off to her friends now um, to get ready. And we are, Agnes, where are we going? Hi. We're going to go to the park and hopefully meet some friends. 
I've got this hat for um, Florence. So if anybody remembers the hat dilemma, the hat that I bought her when we went to Primark in Inverness and it was not three months and it's massive, ridiculously huge. So I bought her another not three month one because I was worried about getting a tiny baby one because I thought it might not fit. So I got one in next for not three months. It kind of fits ish. I'll show you. How cute do you look, Flo Flo? Hey, is yours? You had a tiny bit on the big side. I mean, that's supposed to go around the bottom for a start, but it does the job, doesn't it? At least you can see. Can you see? Can you see? Hey, can you see? Should we go to the park? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to the park. I'm almost at the top, Mummy. You're almost at the top. You're doing a good job. I'm just walking around in a circle to try and get this one to go off to sleep. It's really lovely weather today. It's always windy in Lossie, but it's nice warm wind today. Florence has been a bit grouchy. She was alright in Tesco's because she was asleep. But um, and then she woke up in Asda and was not happy. Um, she's been a bit unsettled today again. Yesterday she had quite a good day. And today she's been a bit unsettled. Although I have noticed now because she's only supposed to have six sachets of Gaviscon a day. And um, they're given, obviously at first, because it can cause them to be constipated, um, we were just giving her, sort of gradually building it up to six a day. Um, although she has more bottles than six a day. Um, so that leaves her with a couple of bottles without having Gaviscon in. And I've noticed the bottles that she doesn't have Gaviscon in. It's just about a bottle of dummy hair. The bottles that she doesn't have Gaviscon in, mate, she's quite sick afterwards. Um, and before, it was more of a silent reflux, so it was obvious that she was having discomfort, but um, she wasn't necessarily being sick. But now I've noticed with the couple of bottles she's had over the last few days that she hasn't had any gavas gone in. They've made her, um, she's been quite, well, she's been sicky afterwards, not quite sick, but, you know, bringing up quite a bit of milk afterwards, um, which she doesn't normally do. So I'm guessing the gavas gone really is having an effect on her. It is helping her quite a lot, um, which is a good thing. The only problem is they only give you 30 sachets, which is about four or five days worth. Um, so I've got to put another repeat in which was meant to do this afternoon on the way to home but I forgot so let's do it later um, but it's good to see that it is actually having an effect because sometimes you wonder if these things are having an effect if they're helping at all and I think it is helping because she's quite unsettled after the bottles that she doesn't have Gaviscon but she's been a bit unsettled today anyway so I'm just trying to get her to have a bit of a longer than 20 minute sleep um, and she is kind of asleep I guess it's nice and sunny, so I get to sit in the sunshine and watch these two little ones play, so it's, I can't complain. Okay, so, um, girls are dancing. I'm sat outside. I could have gone in and watched them, but, um, I thought I'd just have half an hour's rest instead. <laughs> Olivia went in to watch Agnes, um, but... The twins are fine, so I've just come and sat in the car and had a bit of peace instead. Although it is like a zillion degrees in the car, it's really, really hot. The only thing about Scotland is that one day it's raining and the next day it's like summer and it comes out really hot and you think, oh, I wasn't prepared for that. But I'm not going to complain because it's nice. I just hope that it lasts into the summer holidays so that we can have some days at the beach, some days in the garden. Um, with the pool out and stuff like that so yeah um what do we do after the park home um i was always a bit of a mad rush on a wednesday because i need to get tea done for like four o'clock so it's home and i managed to string florence out for a bottle by the time i got back from school she was screaming um fed her she took an ounce so she just really seems really unsettled today i don't know whether she's got a bit of a sticky eye and she's been really snotty um, and I don't know whether it's because of her jabs or um, 
because she's got a cold because obviously some of the jabs make them a bit under the weather and there's also been a cold going around the house so I'm not quite sure which it is so she just seems not very easy to settle today and when I left she was she had a bit of a nap oh they're back from the sh they've been to the shop to get a slush and looks like Agnes has bribed Olivia for sweets mummy I've got one of these now. You've got one of them. Did you did you bribe Olivia to buy you sweeties? Yeah? Yeah, it's one of these. Sure did you say thank you to Olivia? Thank you. Good girl. Can they come and show everybody what you got? Something super sweet and super sticky probably. <laughs> right, let Olivia get in as well. Um they've just gone to the you shop. Just sit down, you can move in a sec. She's bribed her for sweets. Sit down. She went to the shop with Isabel the other day and Isabel came back with cat food that she went for and some sweeties for Agnes. Sour dummies. Sour dummies for Agnes. Um, so yeah, I don't know, she just seems really unsettled today. And Liv's got a slushy. Liv's got a slushy. So... Liv, can I have one? Right, I'm just gonna just next, out. twins are in dancing now. Don't drop. And then the girls are dancing after that. Um, normally I'll be taking the girls the three little ones back home because obviously it's bath time and bedtime for them but today because Lizzie has her prom tonight and obviously she's been getting ready for her prom at her friend's house it's in Elgin um, so I'm gonna stop because they get in there around six for like photos and everything else so about quarter past six we will probably be I'm gonna park and walk over to the hotel where they're having it and see if I can get some photos um, and take three little ones obviously and um, see if I can get some pictures just some, some evidence for myself that she actually went to prom so that's next so we're just going to sit and wait for the twins to come out and then we're going to go um, over to see Lizzie I've just been to see Lizzie at a prom so they're having the prom here tonight. I didn't actually think she'd let me in the building, but she did. She said I could park in the car park. And um, they all look lovely. They all look really, really nice. It's so lovely. I mean, we obviously never had proms when we were growing up, but all the girls and boys, the boys look really smart. They're all in their kilts. And um, the girls all look lovely in their dresses and suits. And um, yeah, it's really nice. They all look lovely. They're having the, the like function suite, which is all, it's beautiful. And um, did you guys like seeing Lizzie at a prom? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. They thought that the boys looked lovely in their skirts, they said. And um, they said um, that the building looks so pretty and they want to have a prom when, didn't you? Did you say you wanted to have a prom when you're big? When you leave high school? Because it looks so nice. What did you say? You said you wanted to have a prom when you leave school, didn't you? Yeah. Because it looks so nice. Do all the girls and boys look lovely? Mm. Yeah, they do. But all the girls only go up. Girls only go No, there was boys too. Lots of boys. The girls saw them, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, and they looked really smart. Mommy, but yeah. Mommy. They did. They all look super Wait, smart. Mommy, they all look lovely. Mommy, yeah? That chair looks, has got different colours. Okay. So these three are really tired and teasy now. So I'm going to take them home. Mommy and leave Lizzie to enjoy her evening. Mommy. Yeah? Okay. Hey, yeah? I can't watch YouTube. Okay. So yeah, we're at that point of the day now. They all need to go home and go to bed. They're very grumpy, but I just wanted to pop in and see, um, see Lizzie this evening because she looks lovely and I don't often, she doesn't often go out or anything. So this is quite a big deal. So anyway, that's kind of, have a minute. I'll help you in a sec. That's kind of the end of the video really guys. I'm gonna go home drop this lot off and then probably just nip to Home Bargains because they do the cheap version of the fruit strings and the fruit hearts and the fruit stars. They do fruit smiley faces and some other things and they're like half the price. So I'm gonna go and pop there and get them and then I'll be going back to pick up the girls from dancing and then I'll be going home for some dinner and tomorrow will be a new day. So. I don't know if I said it already, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to drop us a like, uh, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.